creating ICC profiles from the InkRip software. The first thing you do is make sure the printer is connected to the computer. Then look for the InkRip folder and scroll down to full color. Click on that. And this is where you're going to make a new color profile. So click on new. In this window you set up your parameters for the color profile that you are making. In this case we are going to use 700 by 1080 dpi. In color group we want CMYK. And we leave half toning as it is. For print media we are going to select vinyl. Now where you see Chinese name and English name go to the English name and name it whatever you want. Then copy it and paste it in the Chinese name because note you must change the Chinese name to be able to proceed. Then leave calibration on linearization and for device we are fine on one pro so click next. This brings us to ink limiter. Now before you continue you must make sure that the spectrophotometer is connected to the computer and whilst we're on the subject this is how you use the spectrophotometer. Take the spectrophotometer and place its wheels into the guide tracts on the ruler and then line the ruler up with each line you are going to measure. When using the spectrophotometer make sure that you start on the white just before the color line and click and hold the button on the side by your thumb. Drag the instrument across and end on the white just at the end of the color line. Then release the thumb button. The device will light green to indicate success. If by chance it lights red, just repeat the action. OK, back in ink limiter. Here, select scan chart and then print chart. Once the chart is printed, click on measure under measure chart and physically scan each line on the print with the spectrophotometer. The software will automatically limit the inks for you. See how the values changed in the input ink limit percentage? So the ink has been limited to what the software knows is 100%. And in this way, there will be no more wasted ink. You can print again and do a visual inspection if you like. And then press next. This brings us to linearization. Start by printing this chart. Once done, click on Measure Chart. This opens a new window. Here, press Start Measure. And then go ahead and do all the measurements. When it's finished, click OK. And that brings us into a new window that gives us a graphical representation of the changes that have been made on each color. You can print it if you like for a visual check. Now press Next. This brings us to Mixed Ink Limit. So print the chart. Then visually inspect the chart and manually make changes according to where there is less bleed on each of the colors. If you are happy with the results, click on Print Line Chart.
When the print is completed, click on Finish. This brings us to the Solutions window, where we will select the profile we are creating. And on the top, click on Tool, ICC and Create ICC. In this window, click on Print Chart. Once done, click on Measure Chart and physically scan each line on the print with the spectrophotometer. And once that is done, if you hover over the Create ICC button now, you will see that it has been activated. Further adjustments can be made in this window as well, but for this video, we are happy with our results and so we click on Create ICC. And we have successfully created an ICC profile for this printer with the Inkrip software. AI may eventually take over, but what's for certain is that smart machines are already operating all over the world right now. So stay ahead with am.co.za. For 11 years, they've been leader in CNC and printing machines like CNC rotors, large format printers, vinyl cutters, laser cutters, plasma cutters, DTF printers and many more. Visit am.co.za showrooms in Sunny Rock, Joburg and Montenegro Gardens, Cape Town or WhatsApp high to 060-600-6000 for more info. am.co.za Achievement matters.